It's time again to check out Ripple's XRP token and see what price action has occurred over the past week. We're gonna be performing some technical analysis in order to make some predictions on where we can expect to see XRP go within the next few days. Let's get into it. How's it going guys? Ryan here and welcome back to another crypto video. We're performing some more technical analysis today on Ripple's XRP coin. We're going to be using things such as moving averages, the MACD and the RSI in order to make some price predictions on where we can expect to see XRP go in the near future. But before we get into all that good stuff, guys, please remember to leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy today's video. If you want to see more of this sort of content, Hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. We cover crypto, stocks, investing, and wealth management. I'd also love to know your thoughts on Ripple's XRP token down in the comments section below. Where do you think it's going? Do you think it is one of our top 10 coins for the overall crypto market in the future? But anyway, without any further ado, let's get straight into today's analysis. Welcome into CoinSpot, guys. If you're looking to buy XRP or any other cryptocurrencies, there's a link down in the description of today's video so you can sign up and start buying crypto right now. But let's take a look at the XRP chart. And the last time we took a look at this was on about the 24th. And Overall, in the grand scheme of things, we were doing pretty well at this stage. As you can see, we were, I suppose, peaking in a sense on the hourly. You can see I'm going to go daily just to, I suppose, reiterate that point. So we were here on the 24th and we were doing very, very well for ourselves. I'm just going to put a marker in right there exactly so we can see what has occurred. So as you can see, now we have dropped, unfortunately, but it looks like it's consolidation. We are sitting at $1.59 Australian, down from a peak on that day of $1.80. Not much in the grand scheme of things, but obviously it is still a bit of a drop. Our recent peak was at $1.88. So realistically, that's where we wanna be headed in our next run. Now, I'll just take away this because obviously one of the key patterns that we have discussed is a flag pattern has effectively started to form itself with regards to this coin. So if I just chuck this one in here, I'm gonna to put together, I suppose, a bit of a rudimentary uh, bit of a flag pattern. You can see what's happened. It's tried to break numerous occasions. The top end of this flag pattern simply just has not happened. And in my opinion, the bottom of this flag is flat, just like this. And basically, this is the style that is going on of price action. It's going to get smaller and smaller in this sort of fashion, and it's going to either break up or it's going to break down. So realistically, what can we expect from that? Well, what I'm seeing here is overall, we broke our long-term downtrend. So just putting that in place here, the long-term downtrend was basically broken at the start of or towards the start of our run back at the beginning of August. That means we are now in a new uptrend. As a result of that, the flag pattern is confirmation that consolidation is occurring and that in fact, we are more likely to break upwards than we are downwards. In saying that though, we are consolidating downwards, not upwards, which is I suppose a bit of a reverse, but overall typically what you'll expect to see on these flag patterns is this sort of action. It's almost like steps. Basically in that sort of a fashion, obviously that doesn't reflect exactly what's going to occur, but this is typically what we see in these sort of patterns. When we do see a breakout, we need to ensure that we hit our key price point. So sitting roughly here at $1.88 is one of our key price points. It's our most recent high over the past month or two. Plus, there has been plenty of price action here in the past. So that means we really need to break through this point. Now, obviously, what we're gonna see is probably a bit of a test of that point, and it's either going to bounce off it, go down, consolidate again, then test again, or we're gonna see it absolutely just smash it 
in that sense. But the price target for our video at the moment is break this trend line right here, this top end resistance point of our flag pattern, and then move and go for that $1.88 point where we can break through and start testing our older highs. That will be really the goal for us in today's video. So let's find out some more factors to see if we can support our theory right there. I'm gonna bring in our usual moving averages, which we saw last time. So we're gonna have our short-term 20-day moving average. We're also gonna have our longer-term 50-day moving average, or our medium-term, I should say. And of course, our very long-term 200-day moving average. Now, something really, really good has occurred, which I was hoping for, as I said in the last video. We have had a golden cross of the 50-day moving average crossing above the 200-day moving average. And this occurred on roughly the 26th, 27th of August, so only just a few days ago. Now, what does that mean for us? Well, it's showing us that the trend is well and truly shifting. We obviously saw the 20-day cross above the 50 previously, but the 50 crossing above the 200 is a lot more significant due to the fact that this is a longer term trend. It's showing the longer term impacts and the longer term trajectory of where we are going. Something in the shorter term sense though is we drop below the 20 day moving average. Now this is fine because it's consolidating. We expected that. What we wanna see is a breakout occur above this 20 day moving average, which will be probably roughly touching that same point as we come down here. What we're gonna see is this 20 day moving average probably flatten out because there's some negative price action. And what we wanna see is these candles start to move and break both the resistance on the top end of this flag, as well as the 20 day moving average in order to see a really big move. One thing that is really good as well, and will be acting, uh, I suppose, as support for us is this 50 day moving average, which will continue to climb until probably I'd suggest this point here, unless we see some real drastic moves. But other than that, we are looking relatively good. And the moving averages are now supporting our theory that we are going to move in an upwards direction and continue this little run that we've had over the past month. Now, let's remove those and let's bring in the MACD. Now, what I expect to see is we've diverged. And that's exactly the case. And we saw that divergence basically last time uh, we analyzed XRP. It's continuing downwards, but it looks like we may have or are about to peak. And what that means is we are then going to see a reversal in the trend, and we're gonna start moving back upwards again in this sort of a manner. So you can see like that, this is what we're expecting to see occur. Probably not in, I suppose, a, that much sense, more like, more like that. But basically that means the trend on the MACD is also moving positively. You can see that the moves over the past four days have been a lot less violent than they have been on the four days prior to that. So that really does indicate for us that we are seeing indecision and a change and a shift in the momentum coming up. Really good stuff. The RSI, I would have hoped as well, has cooled off and it certainly has. We have moved comfortably back into the correct range for our RSI sitting at about, uh, where is it, 54.24 points. After that point, we are basically going to, I suppose, move upwards. There's plenty of room for us to go in a positive manner in here. Now, we're not in the overbought range. We are well below that 70 mark, so plenty of room for us to move there. As a result, the target for today's video is going to be this $1.88 mark on the core point of resistance for us. I'd love to know your thoughts on XRP and the price action down in the comment section below. Do you think we are going to break out? Because the technical indicators are certainly indicating we are about to see a reversal in the short term price direction. Let me know down in the comment section below. And as I said at the start of the video, do you think XRP is going to be one of our top 10 cryptos in the near future or in the long term? 
let me know down in the comment section below. But of course, if you did enjoy today's video, remember to leave a like. And if you want to see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. We cover crypto, stocks, investing and wealth management. But I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. I hope you do enjoy today's video. You do enjoy your day and I'll see you next time. Cheers.